<laughs> oh, hey, good morning, modern steaders. I've been looking for you. Oh, what are you guys doing hiding in the nesting box? One egg, two egg. Oh, you were right, you were lying right next to a chicken. I bet you she kept you nice and warm overnight. Pluto, don't worry, I found him. The search is off. What's this? I leave you out in the wood pile one night, and now you think you can hide on me? Oh, guys, you scared me. You girls hungry this morning? Watch out. There you go. Moose, did you keep all the viewers warm last night? Why, thank you, sir. It warmed up a little bit last night. We got some rain. And now it's back down to 28. Everything's froze up with a layer of ice. I don't think we could expect anything else this year. So, if you guys get the ice, hopefully you all are staying safe, guys. I'm glad for my ice cleats. We got the chores a little backwards this morning. I was busy looking for all y'all. So, I'm gonna go in the house, I'm gonna get some water, and then we'll go feed the goats. <sighs> there the birds go again, guys. I love it. Spring is gonna be here before we know it. I'm optimistic on that, so yes, sir. Oh. Nice little bounce in my step here and then birds. I hope you guys are hungry this morning. We're gonna be making a good breakfast. Oh. Something we haven't made in a long, long time. I'll put a link to a video right here that me and Olivia did. Wow, I bet you than five years ago. So it's one of our first videos, no judging. Yeah. And it wasn't when we were in New Hampshire, it was when we were living back in Massachusetts. It's all frozen, guys, it's all frozen. Ugh, the struggles. So if you want a good laugh, <laughs> click on this video right here. I'm sure you'll get one out of it. You goats want to come out? We're going to be having somebody new coming up. So there'll be four goats instead of three. That's going to change up the goat dynamics. I think for a good on a good for a good thing. You know, girls, that is two-sided. There you go. Yeah, so I believe it's the end of March. We'll be adding another goat. It's gonna be good, guys. They're not old enough for us to get them until then. We'll be warming up by then. Hopefully, the snow will either be all gone, and if it's not all gone, it'll be just about gone. Watch out, goats. Ready, Geronimo! <laughs> Well, I think this pine tree can go out. See if we can throw like an arrow. Boom. We got one more brush pile out there we gotta burn. I got a few ideas for that and how we can get it going. I'm gonna let the snow melt a little bit more. Funny. You guys hear this? Listen, ready? I loosen the cap up, it stops. There's gotta be some explanation for it. When it's cold out and I had hot water in here, once it's empty, it makes that noise. Don't know why. Alright, girls. Oh, 
Thanks for coming over, Blossom. You reminded me. You get a treat. Down. Good girls. That's it. I don't have an even amount for all of you, so that's it. No more. No more. Nope, that's it. That's all you get for the morning. I'll bring some out this afternoon. I know, you love those pumpkin treats we made. Whoa! You guys are ready to come out, huh? Yeah. I know, I know, you want nicer weather so you can go out and about. I get it. Soon, soon, soon. You're coming out, Tanner. Come here. I know, you don't like to go downstairs, but you'll go up them. <sighs> Boop. You just want to come out and play. You like playing with the snow and the ice, huh, Tanner? Oh, you fell. You girls hungry for breakfast? Yeah. Do you want to make? Me too. Want to make a breakfast pizza? Yeah. When's the last time we made a breakfast pizza? A long time ago. I can't even remember the last time. So I took the dough out. So we made this dough what? A week ago? Yeah. We had it in the freezer? Yeah. Mm. Really. So it wouldn't stick to the bowl? Mm. Cause one of the same thing. Cause if you don't, it sticks to the bowl and it's a pain. All right, so it's coated with olive oil. I know you want to play. There's bubbles in it. Thank you, Tanya, for this cool tool that we're going to try out today. I'm excited because usually when we make breakfast pizza, the center bubbles up, and that should make it so the sense. pizza won't do that. Or crackers, or pie crumbs. Or dog biscuits. Or dog biscuits. Who gets to try out the tool first? Me. I thought I did. <laughs> what about its mom's, isn't it? Does no. she get to try it? <laughs> no. Oh, that was so fancy. Look at that. Looks like a pizza crust, or it looks like a pizza dough you'd buy pre-made at the store. Yeah. Like that. So be on the bottom right? for everything. They do. I'm going to be bringing out a preheated pan, so just watch out. toppings on it. Oh, really? Libby, do you want to break the eggs? Yeah. Here's two. And do two more. the size of the pan and when we were up on the edges we could put our raw egg right on there and we wouldn't have an issue. 
but I know we would today. So I half cooked the eggs with pre-cooked sausage. So this way the egg won't run all over. That makes sense. We were sent up some fresh grown Florida oranges and we're improvising to make some OJ because we don't have an orange juicer. It looks good. Let's see how the cheese is looking. Oh, we're so close, so close guys. Ooh. Pizza's ready. Oh, my favorite pizza right here, guys. Breakfast pizza. Oh, doesn't that just look so delicious? It does smell like oranges, it smells delicious. One or two pieces, Gina. Trying the OJ first. Yeah. Fresh from Florida. Mm. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That is delicious. My favorite kind of pizza. Cheese breadsticks is your favorite. And the pizza of this time, but like pizza. You gonna go sliding on your bum? Yeah. We don't need to go in. They got plenty of hay by the looks of it. You wanna give them some treats? Yeah. She has her head, her head stuck out. <laughs> Is that good, Blossom? Head. Right there. <laughs> Quite a cup of it, too. It's all covered in snow, though. I don't think she'll eat it. Get it by the cup. Oh no, she dropped it. Oh man! Do you have another one? It's right here. There you go. I think one, yeah, there's another, the, the one that she dropped right there. Huh. I think They'll find it. Dropped hers. Oh, I'm sorry, you can't drop them. That's all we got. That's it, girls. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> bring out like eight. That's it. So That's all I grabbed. You each got two. You can't drop them. them. Alright, let's well, go check on the chickens. they there so much, they the water. No. You actually don't sink that much. You might not, but I might, because I weigh more. Oh, it's a winter wonderland.
I can't wait till we can take Tanner out here and have him run around the pasture. Go ahead, make your snow angel. Cool beans. Does it have cat ears? No. Yeah, it's got ears. Yeah, it no, I don't, just know, I don't know how to get out. I don't want to wreck it. Ready, hey, stand straight up. <laughs> Boom. There's your snow angel. It kind of looks like a bug. Yeah, it does. <laughs> oh man, it looks like uh -oh. one of the chicken tractors collapsed with all the weight of the snow. Yeah, because the other ones are just open. Come springtime, we'll have to repair that. Yeah. Those two are still holding up. Oh, I'm thinking I'm going to try. Oh, look at all them eggs. Six, seven in here. We got one here, so that's eight. Any more? Awesome, eight eggs. I ended up getting in the button latches for the top of the disputting box. Let's see how they're gonna work. Like this. Might be easier if we do the hinges first. Yep. Do it like that. I'm gonna put them two inches from the edge. I think visually it looks nice. make sure it didn't come through the top side. Ah, oh, it didn't, that's good. That would not have been good. Let me finish this up and we'll be right back. All right. nicely now. These are going to do two and a half from each end. Trying to figure out the best way to do this. I think laying it down like so. These little things are always the things that take the most time and you never think they're going to. Just like so.
Yeah, I like that. I like it. Oh, let's see. I like that. The only thing we have left to do is the riser. But I'm gonna leave this loose until we know if it's the right size or not. We won't know that until Willow has baby goats. I'm gonna wait to buy my disbudding iron until we know Willow's pregnant. I think they're around 80 to 100 bucks. So the other nice thing is we can keep the disbudding iron in the disbudding box, latch it up, and we'll have a place to store everything. And I think I should probably get a handle to screw on here so you can carry it around like a toolbox. We can keep all of our, so we have to get some more like antiseptive, some different stuff that we'll put on the goats after we disbud them. We can keep everything right in our disbudding box, which will be nice. So this disbudding box started out from this pile of lumber, from this stack, to that. I just think it's pretty wild what you can end up making out of rough sawn lumber which started as a tree. I hope you guys are having a great day. I just wanted to remind us all the first day we lose in anything is the way we think about it. Whether well, the way we think about ourselves, whether it's what we're going up against. If we don't think we can, we'll never accomplish our dream or our goal. If we think we can, and we know we can get there no matter what, we'll get there, guys. Just always remember, look up, keep a smile on our faces, and we'll get there. We don't need to beat ourselves up. There's enough things beating us up in this world. We don't need to help on that. So keep your chin up. Remember, you've got this. And we'll see you right back here at the next in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.